Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a new topic of chapter 12 that is sexual reproduction. In the last video we have discussed about a sexual reproduction. Now we will discuss about sexual reproduction. So in this type of reproduction both the parents are required. As we have discussed in the a sexual reproduction only one parent is required but in the sexual reproduction both the parents are required means male and female both parents are required in this type of reproduction so as we are saying both the parents are required it means gametes will be formed male gamete and female gamete will be formed okay. so gametes are formed so fusion of gametes is there so if gametes are forming by the parents so the fusion of gametes will be there it means male and female gamete will be fused and new offspring will be produced okay so gametes are for gametes they are fusing it means male and female gamete they are fusing in this type of reproduction so the new offspring they are not similar to their parents it means like as we are saying in the asexual reproduction offspring they are uh, genetically similar to their parent because they are producing by their only one parent it may male organism or maybe a female organism but in this type of reproduction gametes are formed male and female gametes are formed and they are fusing so the characteristic of par um, uh, male uh, and the characteristic of female it means the characteristic of mother and father they come in the new offspring so the offspring they are not similar to their exactly sim not similar to their parent maybe some hamids or some features they are they may be similar to their parent but they are not genetically similar to their parents in the case of asexual reproduction they are genetically similar to their parent but in the sexual reproduction they are not genetically similar to their parent because they are producing by the fusion of two different gametes but as we are discussing in this chapter reproduction in plants so the male and female gamete they are producing in the sexual reproduction so they are produced in the flower male and female gamete they are produced in the flower and they may be uh, produced maybe on the uh, maybe in the same flower or they may be in the uh, different plants or they may be in the different flower they are present on the same plant so there are different different condition so mainly in the uh, reproductive part of the plant that is a flower already we have discussed like vegetative part their root stem and leaves but the reproductive part of a plant it is a flower so now we will discuss about the structure of a flower now our next topic is flower as we are saying flower is the reproductive part of a plant it may it takes the part in the sexual reproduction because it uh, contains it has a male and female parts male and female reproductive part so uh, now we will read about the structure of the flower so you can see this is the diagram of a flower there are different parts of a flower you can see so, सबसे पहले यहाँ देखेंगे this is a stroke and this is stroke which is known as pedicel ये stroke है जिसे हम बोलते हैं pedicel and with the help of pedicel it is attached with the stem यानी कि ये pedicel के help से किससे attached होता है stem से second part this is of the flower that is thalamus it means all the parts of the flower like Stemen, carpal, petal, sepal, all the parts of a flower they are present on the thalamus. It is a base-like structure and it's a swollen. Okay, so and it uh, means it uh, has all the parts of the flower. सारे के सारे parts कहाँ present होते हैं thalamus के ऊपर और ये swollen part होता है जो कि pedicel से attached होता है. Next part there is a you can see जब हम flower में देखते हैं actual flower में देखते हैं very small green leaf like structures are there okay यहाँ पे नहीं दिख रही है क्योंकि हम मैंने यहाँ पे black से और red से बनाया हुआ but actually these जब हम नीचे कोई भी अगर हम bird वगैरह देखते हैं तो हमें दिखाई देती है कि वहाँ पे नीचे thalamus के बाद में एक बहुत छोटी-छोटी green color की leaves होती हैं leaf like structure so these small leaf like structure are known as sepals so these sepals they protect the flower when it is in bud condition जब flower bud condition में होता है जब कली की form में होता है तो sepals क्या होता है पूरे पूरे petals को ये cover करके रखते हैं जिससे कि ये पूरा का पूरा flower क्या होता है protect रहता है so sepals they protect the flower in the bud condition this is the function of the sepals okay 
in different different flowers in a different different flower the number of sepals may be different in maybe in a three maybe four so in a different different flower the number of sepals will be different next part of a flower hum dekhenge yahan pe petals so petals these are the next part of a flower so petals they are colorful part of the flower jab hum jo bhi color hote jaise ki agar hum rose ka dekhte gulab ka phool dekhte to usme pink honge ya red honge ya agar hum gudhal ka dekhenge red hoga ya agar hum gende ka dekhenge to yellow hoga sunflower hoga to yellow hoga to jo petals hote hain always they are in attractive color okay so and what is the function of the petals they can attract the insects and other birds for pollination we will discuss about the pollination in the next uh, topics when it will come in the sexual reproduction the mechanism of sexual reproduction so we will discuss later but uh, petals okay they are the colorful parts of the flower and the main function of the petal that is they can attract the insects and birds for pollination yani ki insects aur birds ko uh, pollination ke liye attract karte hain even jab insects hai ya honey bees wagera hai they uh, uh, visit to the flower and they uh, suck the nectar for preparing the honey ड्यू टू द कलरफुल पार्ट ऑफ द फ्लावर दैट इज पेटल यानी कि पेटल के कलरफुल कलरफुल होने के कारण क्या होते हैं जितने भी इंसेक्ट है या बर्ड्स है ये अट्रैक्ट होते हैं एंड हनी भी एंड अदर इंसेक्ट दे कैन सक द नेक्टर दे कैन कलेक्ट द नेक्टर नाउ नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द फ्लावर दैट इज मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ अ फ्लावर सो द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ अ फ्लावर यू कैन सी दिस इज अ मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ अ फ्लावर स्टेमन दिस इज अ मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ अ फ्लावर and it is formed by the two parts it is composed by two parts anther and filament this is a long cylinder tube like structure this is a filament and a lobe like structure which is present on the filament this is a anther so in the anther pollen grain are formed and pollen grains are the main gametes of the plant pollen grain they are the male gametes so we can say male gametes they are formed in the anther and they are the part of <coughs> an anther is the part of stamen so stamen is the male reproductive part and it is formed by the anther and filament filament is a long cylinder tube like structure and it is connected with the lobe like structure this is a anther and anther generally they are bilobed yani ki hamesha ye two lobes mein divide hote hain theek is tarah se and in the anther pollen grains are formed and pollen grain they are the male gametes of the plant okay now next <clears throat> part of the flower that is female reproductive part and female reproductive part is known as carpel or pistil we can say carpel or we can say pistil this is the female reproductive part and sometime you can read from some books the male reproductive part it is known as androecium and female reproductive part it is known as gynoecium so these are also name of male and female reproductive parts of the plant okay. so carpel pistil and gynoecium you can say so female reproductive part it is also composed by three parts stigma style and ovary so you can see this is the landing portion of the uh, लैंडिंग पोर्शन ऑफ द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट और कार्पल और पिस्टिल इट मीन वेन पोलिनेशन इज देयर सो पोलिन ग्रेन दे लैंड ऑन द स्टिंगमा सो इट प्रोवाइड्स अ बेस ओके फॉर लैंडिंग द पोलिन ग्रेन नाउ दिस स्टिंगमा इट इज अटैच विद अ लॉन्ग सिलेंडर ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज नॉन ए स्टाइल सो वेन पोलिन ग्रेन दे लैंड ऑन द स्टिंगमा दे रिलीज द मेल गेमिट्स एंड मेल गेमिट दे पास थ्रू द स्टाइल एंड इट रीच दे रीच थ्रू द ओवरी and the last part of the female reproductive part this is a swollen base like structure which is known as ovary and inside the ovary ovules are present you can see very small small beads or seeds like structure are there they are not a seed after that they uh, change into seed but now they are the seed like structure and they are known as ovules so this is the female reproductive part of a plant which is composed by three parts stigma style and ovary and inside the ovary ovules are present and ovules or ova they are the female gametes so you can see in the flower male and female gametes are present that's why flower is the reproductive part of the plant and uh, it uh, take part it takes part in the sexual reproduction 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माय वीडियो सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय माय वीडियो लाइक द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ फ्लावर सो लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू